Alright, we're ready to go put this puppy on the roof and see how she turns. Oh. And we'll wire it up here in a little bit, but let's go out here and see what we got. I built a very quick little stand um, to go on the roof. Don't judge me, it was completely thrown together. So we're going to just stick it up there and see how it looks. Let's go up on the roof. I'm going to leave the prop down here for safety reasons for the moment. Alright, let's go to... Oh, I need my bolts. I can get in the house and get the 
bolts. I haven't came out the store yet today. Bolts. Here we go, bolts. Man, it's windy today. Super windy today. Perfect day to try it out. All right, so we got our bolts. We got our turbine. Let's go up on the roof. Bear with me guys, I'm trying not to die here. Very steep roof. Quick thrown together stand, literally just built it in about 10 minutes. Literally just for testing. I might perfect it later and use it but as of right now we're just going to get this guy up here and spin it see what we like and then we'll get some outputs on nice windy day This thing is pretty balanced. It literally sits up there by, without the prop on it, it just sits up there. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Here, you guys, give me a minute. Let me put these bolts in. All right, here we are. We got her up, finally. And when I first put it up, it really was bad. It sucked. It wouldn't start. No matter how fast the wind was blowing, the thing would not start for nothing. So I took the blades back off and I took a heat gun and it looked like they were warped like the wrong way. So, um, man, look at the wobble on that joker. It's spinning like hell. But, uh, I took a heat gun to it and I bent it the way it looked like it was supposed to go because it just, it was wrong. Like, I don't care what they sent me, it wasn't right. So when I reshaped the blades, I put it back on and this thing starts right up and it is getting it. I mean, it, it's working great. Look at it go. I don't know if you can see how fast that thing's going, but it is moving. It's silent, too. You can barely hear it. Alright, let's see what kind of wattage we're getting out of this thing. I'm on my roof, if you can't tell. Um, my little makeshift pole I made. I got it wired in. Uh... And PVC pipe running down there to the charge controller and a battery. So the charge controller is already powered up, so it should be charging. And since I put the prop on after I reshaped the blades, it virtually hasn't stopped. It's just going. Um, made a dramatic difference. The props right out the box were garbage. I mean, they were all warped. They all looked the same, but they were just you could tell they were they were working against themselves. They were they were curved in such a way that at the top at the tips of the blade it was trying to go one way and then at the the base of the blades it was trying to spin the opposite way so it was it was just doing this thing where it was just rocking back and forth you know like rocking back and forth and it would never start up but once I I reshaped them and made them all where they go the same way I mean this thing is having no problem but I'm curious what makes this thing shut down it's supposed to have braking on it and all that stuff but I don't know how that's the case because I don't see nothing slowing it down. I mean, not that it's going too crazy, but I don't understand how it could have a brake on it. There's no kind of brake system in there. It's just a slip ring and a cool little little uh, PMA. I'm definitely going to be making that base a lot sturdier because it's just shaking a little bit, but it's just schedule 40 inch and five eighths it flexes a little bit and it's on a piece of angle iron if you can see that down there here let's see what, so I can turn the light on um no I don't know why I can't turn the light on actually there we go because the light is being used no it's not hold on ta-da that's better 
Oh, well, we actually stopped now. It stopped. But, um, a little light so I could tell if it was spinning from the ground. But if you look at the props right here, they were curved in such a way to where the tips here, well, the tips, the curve in it, if you look down at it right now, you see how the curve's all going this way? Well, before, the tips were curved this way, and the base was curved that way. So it was completely backwards on one end compared to the other end. And so this thing would constantly just, it would it would do this number where it just rocks rocks back and forth and it couldn't we couldn't figure out where it where it wanted to go but yet it, it would turn to the to the direction of the wind no problem but it wouldn't start up i broke my thing so i had to i heated it up with a torch and, and bonded it back together so that way i didn't add any weight to it at all but now of course it it seems like it's a little out of balance i'm probably gonna have to balance it it's got a little shake to it Oh, that's the wrong way. Ow. No, it ain't. Wait. Yeah, it is. It's supposed to go that way. But now this thing is working fantastic. I heated up each one with a heat gun and reshaped them to where they looked like they were supposed to. And I put it on, and this thing, watch. Here, we'll watch it start up right now. Looks like we're getting a little breeze. See if she'll start up. Now that I said something, watch it won't. Come on, Wynn. Little bit. Come on, Rice! Of course not. It's freezing up here. It sure feels windy to me. But it's really not blowing at all. It's real turbulent. Oh, another thing, if you can see this, I literally have trees surrounding my entire house. Literally trees. Way taller than my house going all the way around. So, theoretically, this is probably the worst possible place for a wind turbine. But I do live at the top. Oh, there she goes. I live at the top of a hill. So, the very top of the hill. So, when you go out my driveway, you go down freaking 20 foot hill and then when you get out to the road in order to leave the neighborhood you have to go down a 40 foot hill just to get you know out of here so wow look at it go trying to say something take me off please don't come this way whoo boy that thing was moving then wasn't it oh god I'm, i think i'm far enough away i dropped a bolt in the flange there can you see that i'm missing a bolt damn it's just testing right now anyway. I gotta redo this whole thing. Don't make it beefy! Make it beefy! But! Man, it's got a shake to it. Ooh, there went that bug. That bug didn't stand a chance, let me tell you. I could stand here and watch this thing all day. I don't know about you guys, but I could literally stand here and watch this. On my roof, freezing my ass off and watch it spin all day. I don't know why. I love it. Love it! Okay, but it's working. Let's go see what we got coming out. If I can get down here without falling off this roof, I have one of the steepest roofs on the freaking planet, I think. Ugh. That's my old turbine pole. Uh, it's one of them. That's a whole pole that stands up over there for another turbine, but I went the easy route and put it on the roof this time. I used to have them on the roof and they did all right. But I'll tell you one thing, it only works in, uh, sorry if my nose is running, it only works in the winter time. And I'll tell you why, because the trees surround my entire house. So it doesn't work when the trees are covered in leaves. Yes, it makes a difference, a major difference. Meaning I put the wind turbine, or I took them down because in the summertime, they literally stop turning. They just stop. They didn't even try. They just stop turning. They wouldn't do nothing. Um, so I had to turn it off. I mean, I took them down and, you know, made some changes and whatnot because they just, they, they wouldn't work. But now all the leaves are down. I don't know if you can see, but all the leaves are down in the trees now. That one tree has a few leaves in it. So, 
the wind blows through the trees now. So it makes a dramatic difference on whether or not the turbine will work. Ow! And she's up there spinning away right now. So, yeah, she's spinning away. I don't know if you can see that little guy up there, but she's just spinning. Um, but yeah, the, the leaves and the trees make all the difference in the world. Won't work. So, not the best place for a wind turbine, but I love them, so I'm going to give it a shot. All right, uh, give me a minute. Let me get set up with a multi and we'll see what we're getting out of this thing. 